Hello guys, so today in this video, uh, I will be going, uh, I will be teaching you payload. Payload is one of the chapters in general navigation. If uh, you're going to, you're watching, probably watching this video, if you are appearing for your navigation exams for the DGCA for the conversion of your license. So if you talk about payload, payload, uh, comprises of at least uh, say 10 marks out of the 100 marks in the uh, general navigation exam. And it's a pretty simple chapter. So you have numericals in this and plus you have some theory questions, MCQs, and they are pretty easy. So if you understand the way of solving these and you understand all the terms con concepts, it's going to be really easy and a piece of cake to score those 10 marks. So what we will do is now we will be discussing about the first chapter, which is the payload. So let's begin a payload chapter. So if we talk about payload, so what is payload? So in general, if you look at the term pay and load, so it is the load, let's say it is the load, which is just paying you. So it's not that the term is related to your aircraft. It can be related to the car, it can be related to the cargo ships, it can be related to any mode of transport, even for, for, for that matter, say trains, etc. So if we talk about payload, like I told you, the load which is paying you. So what is payload? Payload is nothing but in terms of aircraft is your passengers and your cargo, which is generating revenue for you. It is known as your payload. So let's talk about the various basic definitions and various weights which are associated with an aircraft. So just to simplify it, let's assume that this is suppose a factory, uh, please mind my handwriting, my handwriting is not that good. Uh, so this is your factory and they said this is a Boeing factory and they have made an aircraft. Okay, so let's say this is a Boeing factory. Now, the aircraft which is lying inside the Boeing factory. Now, no one, let's suppose Indigo has placed an order for a Boeing 777 and it is lying inside the factory. So, at this particular moment of time, the, when the aircraft is inside the facility or the factory and it is ready for use, this particular way is called as your basic empty. Wait, now let's elaborate this term. What, you know, what all things comes under your basic empty weight and how we'll be using this for the calculation. So if we talk about the basic empty weight of an aircraft, this is equal to your weight of an aircraft. Now, what do I mean by weight of an aircraft? By meaning of the weight of an aircraft is the all the aluminum frame, all the framework, steel, or whatever the metal that has been used to construct that aircraft comes under this weight of an aircraft. Then you add that weight of an aircraft and you add usable fluid. Apart from usable fluid, we add the unusable and then we add the oxygen cylinder and then we add pyrotechnics. I will be explaining each and every term in detail so you understand exactly. Now in uh, let's say oxygen cylinder, pyrotechnics and then you have your fire extinguishers. So these are the 
items which are the part of your basic empty weight. Now, let's talk about each and every item separately. So, this is your this is basic empty weight. So, I have told you about the eight bar. Now, let's talk about the usable fluid. Now, what do you mean by usable fluid? Now, usable fluid. It is again say divided into your two parts. So the first part is your hydraulic oil, and the second part, the first part is your hydraulic oil, and the second part is your new one. Now let's talk about both a little bit. We will not go into the details because you, it's we, uh, it's not that uh, they might ask you in your ETP oral that. What do you mean by usable fluid? But they will not go into details that what is your hydraulic or a lubar because in basically the DDC navigation exams, you will be getting numericals. So it's not important, but to clear your concept, I'm going to tell you about the hydraulic and the lubar. So basically, if we talk about the hydraulic fluid or the hydraulic oil, it is used for various purposes. It is used to control your flight controls, like by flight controls, I mean, your rudder, your ailerons, and various flight controls. And apart from that, it is used for your gear extension and contraction. So these are the various uh, purposes, etc. There are a lot of uses of hydraulic oil. Among these, these are the main ones. And as you know, U oil. U oil is basically nothing but it is used for your lubrication lubrication of engine okay it is used for your lubrication like in a car also we have lubricant uh, lubrication oil and wherever the engine is there you will have lubrication lubricate the all the engine part for the smooth functioning of the engine so now that we have talked about the usable fluid the next thing that we will be uh, talking about is your unusable fuel. What do we mean by unusable fuel? So let's talk about now the unusable fuel. So if we uh, talk about the unusable fuel, sorry about this, let me just grab the eraser. I'm just getting used to this one note drawing. So pardon the delays. Okay, so here we go. So let's talk about the unusable fuel. So what do we mean by unusable fuel? So the unusable fuel is the fuel in the fuel tanks not accessible to the engine. So basically it might, so if this is your Suppose aircraft, and this is your aircraft wings. Say, because you have fuel tanks here. Now, there might be fuel in the corner or in the bottom or somewhere which will be defined in your POH. That POH you will get the definition, and also it will get you that amount of unusable fuel. So, for example, I will tell you. So we used to fly, uh, I used to fly Piper Cherokee, which is PA-28 aircraft for my flying in during the private pilot. So in this aircraft, the each fuel tank was used for 24, uh, 24 gallons, sorry, 25 gallons each. But 24 gallons was only usable and two gallons was the unusable fuel. So this was the unusable. And you will get this information in the POH of the aircraft. The POH of the aircraft, the definition of POH is personal operating handbook. So this is personal operating handbook. So now we have got the idea what is usable fluid, what is the unusable fluid. 
No, let's talk about some other terms. So let's talk about the O2 cylinder. So now the oxygen cylinder in the aircraft, like you must have seen when you travel by aircraft, when the air officers, they give you a demonstration, they will tell you to, that the oxygen mask will drop in case the cabin pressure is, is reduced. So for those oxygen masks, they have installed the oxygen cylinder throughout the aircraft to supply the oxygen in, in case there is a damage to the fuselage and the cabin pressure is dropped. Now we have a term called pyrotechnics. Now what are pyrotechnics? So basically pyrotechnics, agar isko agar hum ek Hindi mein agar isko samjhe, ya fir isko ek layman language mein hum isko samjhe, to basically pyrotechnics kya hoti hai? Pyrotechnics, jis Diwali mein hum log patakke poorde, तो वो उसी कुछ टाइप की होती है सो पायरोटेक्निक बेसिकली आपकी इमरजेंसीज के लिए हम लोग यूज करते हैं इसमें आपका फ्लेयर भी होता है और इसमें काफी सारी चीजें आती हैं सो इसमें सबसे जो कॉमन चीज आती है वो आता है आपका फ्लेयर तो ये दीस पायरोटेक्निक्स आर बेसिकली यूज एंड आल्सो लाइक सपोज इफ द कैप्टन इज नीड इन इमरजेंसी लैंडिंग लाइक ऑन द सी और ऑन अ बॉडी ऑफ अ रिवर देन you take out your life boat and you take out your rescue boat and you all are on the rescue boat so you have certain pyro techniques like you have a hand play you have rocket play and various other things so that by using them you can catch the attention of the people nearby for rescue so basically if you are in a case in a situation of emergency and the rescue operation team can easily identify you that is for those reason we use the pyrotechnics and fire extinguisher it is obvious we use fire extinguisher just in case there is an onboard fire to extinguish the onboard fire we are using your fire extinguisher so these are the parts which are comprised of your basic mtv so i'll be repeating those so your basic empty weight comprises of basic empty weight comprises of your aircraft weight your usable fluid your unusable fuel your oxygen cylinder your fire